With vaccinations on the rise, summer travel plans are becoming an exciting reality for most. But before you book your trip, travel experts say be prepared to have your rental car cost more than your plane ticket. Yeah, this after a nationwide rental car shortage that's even affecting us here locally. Q13's Olivia LaBoyce has a story tonight. Our phone just stopped ringing for months. Jason Hollebeck says COVID had a devastating effect on his family's company, Aero Rent a Car. To stay afloat, they did what most rental companies did, both big and small. We got rid of a lot of our inventory, knowing that you know we don't have any incoming reservations. Hollenbeck says they sold about 60% of their fleet. He says some rental companies did even more than that. So while things are finally looking up for the industry with travel picking up, it's kind of this in-between period where the companies need to, you know, be able to replenish their inventory to fulfill the demand. We have huge demand, a restricted supply, and it's doing exactly what the economics do, and it's jacking up the rental car rates significantly, 200, 300 times what you might expect. Travel expert Steve Danishik says if you wanted to rent a car tomorrow for 24 hours, in Miami it would cost you $579. Orlando, it would cost you a whopping $732. And in Austin, Houston, and Dallas, there are simply no cars available. When we checked ourselves using Expedia, the lowest prices you could get for a mid sized car for a one day rental tomorrow in Honolulu would set you back $200. In Fort Lauderdale, it was $445. Danishik says renting last minute and for only a day is typically going to give you higher prices. But he says the prices they're seeing today are just unheard of. There are situations where the car companies cannot even meet the number of reservations that have been confirmed by the rental car companies. So why don't big companies up their inventory? Well, it's complicated. The car manufacturers are having problems manufacturing the cars due to the chip shortages from Taiwan and elsewhere, so they can't bring cars back in the fleets right away. This is a problem that's going to take several months to solve. And the cars that are available to buy? Everyone knows that car rental companies need cars, so the price for vehicles is, is very expensive. As rental companies have to purchase cars for higher prices, they're renting for higher prices. Holland Beck says his family's businesses' prices haven't gone up more than 20 percent, which is low compared to bigger companies where travel agents say you can see an increase of 50 to 100 percent. People will book the airfare, they'll book the hotel, and then they'll say, after, as an afterthought, then they'll book the car because cars are relatively cheap. They should not do that now. They should look at all three elements. Olivia LaVoyce, Q13 News. Tanishik says a good tip is to look at prices at rental car companies that aren't at the airport. Those airport locations may be more expensive.